Welcome to this presentation of a new and simple way to use candlesticks. This is the Specialist Trading Weekly Forex lesson for the week ending August 12th, 2011. This is a great tool which I've spoken about in the past but I haven't really gotten over it recently so I want to give you a refresher course on this great tool that will help you discern the direction of the Forex pair. But before we begin I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you the performance results using this tool, but remember we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to show you will be repeated in the future. So please take a moment to review our disclaimer and then we shall begin this week's Forex lesson. All right, I want to start off with an email that was sent to me this week by one of our students. It says, Steve, can you talk about this on the weekly Forex number five video if you have time? There is currently a massive bearish engulfing plus 15 on the Australian US dollar weekly chart. Thanks Stephen, DW. Now I know a lot of you may not know what this means, a bearish engulfing plus 15. I've never heard of that before. That's why I thought it'd be best to give a refresher course on this specific tool. This is a specific tool or pattern that we use that is not a strategy, but it's a momentum or directional tool for the short term direction of a, a currency pair. Now let's start off by backing up by just kind of uh, reviewing for those of you who aren't really familiar with engulfing patterns. This is a very prominent pattern that we use in a lot of our strategies, Forex strategies. And remember we have a specific way of using it. This is a bullish engulfing pattern. It's a two bar pattern. The second bar, as you see here, is called the open body. We're concerned with the open body, meaning from open to close, totally covering or engulfing the dark body, the previous bars, body only, not the range. See, a lot of people are confused with this. They think that we have to in totally en en engulf the entire range from top to bottom. We are only concerned with engulfing the body or from open to close. That, in our definition, is a bullish or bearish engulfing pattern. If we happen to see this pattern, we know that there is a strong correlation that in the next three to five bars, whichever bar or time frame we're looking at, we will have upside momentum or direction. So that's a real strong edge. Now the same works to the opposite side for a bearish engulfing pattern. Same exact rules except we turn it upside down. We have the dark body here from the open to the close, but once again we're only concerned with the body. We're not concerned with the range from top to bottom. We're only concerned with the body which is actually the open to close movement. We want that body to engulf the body of the previous day, which should be an up day, all right? Not uh, engulfing the entire range from top to bottom, but only engulfing the up body. This is a bearish engulfing pattern because we just engulfed the previous up day's movement or up day's body, and that gives us a high percentage uh, probability for downward movement, okay, in the next three to five bars. So this is a great edge we use, okay, but this is where we're kind of kicking it up a, a step where we're introducing the engulfing pattern plus one. Once again, please do not take this as a strategy. This is not a strategy. It does not come with any entry or stop placement or exiting techniques. This is just a way to discern, discern the short-term momentum or the direction of the currency pair. But it's a great, great tool. All right. This is engulfing pattern plus one. And it can go on all the way, as you saw in the email, up to plus 15, I imagine. All right, so how do we find or, or spot this particular engulfing pattern. Well, here's your standard engulfing pattern. As you can see, we have the open body or the bullish body totally engulfing the dark body, okay? Now, what we want to do is engulf one more body, as you see right here. Now, it does not matter, as you see that in this example, this was an up day because it's a, a clear or an open body, but it doesn't matter. We just want to be engulfing more than one bar. Okay, it can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 15. In this case, it's an engulfing pattern plus 1. You see we engulfed the previous bar plus 1. And here's where you can see where our body is. This is the uh, top or the close. And here's the open or the bottom of the range of the body. And we engulfed two bodies within that. So what happens when you see this specific pattern? Now we've kicked it up to another level, like going into fifth gear. That's an even higher probability that we're going to have upside movement. In fact, it's probably most likely going to be a stronger trend than just your basic bullish or bearish engulfing pattern. All right, same thing works for the downside. This is your standard bearish engulfing 
the dark body or the downward body totally engulf the previous days upward. This is your standard bearish engulfing pattern. Now we want to have plus one. So now we've not only engulfed the previous bar, we've engulfed one more. And also, as I stated earlier, it does not matter whether this bar is an up day or a down day. All that matters is that we are engulfing another body, another range. There is a high probability now, once again, a much higher probability that we will be going to the downside once you see this bearish engulfing pattern plus one or up to plus 15, I guess. Let's show you some past examples. Remember, these are past examples. These are not current. Later on in the presentation, I'll show you some current examples of what's currently going on using this pattern. All right, here's a chart of the Australian dollar, a daily chart, looking back uh, roughly uh, over a year ago or so. And as we see here, looking back in hindsight, we have a bullish engulfing pattern plus one. Why plus one? Because we engulfed the previous day's lower range, and then we have one more body that we engulfed. And then look what happened. 900 points to the upside. Now this was just telling us that there was probably a very strong direction going on here. And all the time that we were headed upwards, we continue to get more and more confirmation by seeing more bullish engulfing patterns plus one. And seeing another one here. How about a weekly chart of the uh, dollar yen? Okay, coming into this chart, we see here that we actually have a bullish engulfing pattern plus three. Why? Because we engulfed the previous day's downward day, and we have one, two, three more engulfing uh, uh, bodies that we uh, totally, uh, you know, engulfed or surrounded here. So this is a clear sign that on a weekly chart, it looks like there may be a nice directional change to the upside. And in the coming weeks, in the next three months, we uh, traversed up 800 pips in the dollar yen. Here's a monthly chart of the Australian dollar looking back to 0708 time frame. And as you can see, all along, all the time we're going up, we have this nice confirmation of bullish engulfing patterns plus one that we're going even higher. So this was telling you, you know, once again, this is not a strategy, but it's telling you if you're along that don't worry, we're confirming that most likely the trend is going to continue. There's you had three nice up, uh, up uh, bullish engulfing pattern plus one here until we got to this point. And as you can see, we had a bearish engulfing pattern plus one because we engulfed the previous days upward or the previous months upward moving and another bar. Now, it doesn't matter if the body on this range here is up or down. Once again, all that matters is that we engulf more than one. And as you can see, it was downward direction after that. So this is a great tool, kind of a signpost, giving you a little heads up or a little warning that we may have a trend a direction change or we may continue the direction. All right, so let's look at some current examples now. So let's look at what's going on currently at our top currency pairs. Here's the Australian dollar, a daily chart, going up to about the end of July or the beginning of August. And as you can see here, we had some nice bullish engulfing pattern plus one instances. And for most intents and purposes, uh, the, the Australian dollar had been headed up in this direction. As you can see here, it was confirming again, even though we were going sideways, that most likely the trend will continue higher. Now, on the Canadian dollar, we have an interesting pattern here coming in. This is a, a current chart coming into the uh, month of August. We had a nice bullish engulfing pattern, plus one. Remember, it does not matter what color the plus one is, but we engulfed a, uh, one more bar here, and then it was upward movement. Now, this is what's happened this week, which is uh, going to be a little tough to discern here because right here on this day, we had a bearish engulfing pattern plus one. So this was giving us warning that the Canadian dollar may be headed lower to start looking for shorting signs. But then the very next day, we had a bullish engulfing plus one. So this may be telling us now that we're going higher. Be that as it may, this is not a signal, so we're not trying to trade anything. We're just trying to get an early heads up or a warning as to which direction we may be headed. Remember, our goal is to learn how to listen to the markets. We're not trying to predict anything. We're just trying to listen. And if the market is trying to tell us something, we want to be able to hear it. So uh, right now, the market has decided what it wants to do, so we're not doing anything either. All right, here's a weekly chart of the euro dollar. Okay, the euro dollar now had a nice strong up mood at the beginning of uh, February all the way up to uh, the beginning of uh, May, but then it kind of hit.
get this bearish engulfing pattern plus two. Now we first started off with a bullish engulfing pattern plus two. As you see here, we totally engulfed the previous bar, but then we engulfed two more bodies and we had a very nice upward move until we got to this level and we have a very strong bearish engulfing pattern plus two. So we really haven't seen that much of a dramatic downward move in, in the uh, euro dollar. We've kind of uh, oscillated just in this kind of range. But check this out. This is the last week. This is this current chart of the euro dollar. And coming into the end of today, Friday, we have a bearish engulfing pattern plus one. So this is a pretty negative pattern uh, in terms of giving us some type of warning as to which direction the euro dollar may be headed. It's not a signal though, so we cannot just simply trade off that. We have to wait till we get a signal. And then lastly, the Australian dollar on a weekly chart. Now this is the chart that the student who emailed me was talking about. Now coming in here, it really doesn't look like there's really much you can tell from this. We're kind of just kind of going sideways on this weekly chart uh, since uh, end of April, early May. But if we look here, what happened in the last uh, month uh, coming into August here, or, or the week coming into August, we see that we had a bearish engulfing pattern right here. This dark body engulfed the previous day, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 other bodies. As you can see here, here is the range from the top to bottom of the body of the open to close range. And so on a weekly basis, a little bit more long term, but on a weekly basis, that would be uh, perceived as being negative. So coming into August now, as you see the first week of August, look what happened. We had a rather strong move to the downside here, but it seems to come back and, and uh, you know retrace a lot of the losses. So even though intraday on the weekly chart, we had a large down move in the Australian dollar, uh, this still may be intact, telling us that there's more downside to come. We just don't know yet. Uh, be that as it may, it was a nice warning when we saw that bearish engulfing pattern plus 15 on a weekly time frame. Now, here are some things to remember, and I cannot stress this enough, because even though this is such a great tool, it is not a strategy. It is just a tool. You know, you, you'll see this, and I know your eyes will light up and go, boy, this is fantastic. If I see a bullish engulfing pattern plus one or more, or a bearish engulfing pattern plus one or more, I'm going to go long or short. No, it doesn't work that way because there are, uh, are no, you know, any type of uh, research or looking to see if this is a uh, strategy or with any money management or exit strategy uh, applied to it that can work. It's just a great tool to get you in the right direction. It, it's, the pattern is, is best used as a momentum tool. We want to see what, what the momentum is or the direction of the currency pair that we're watching. But probably, you know, as we can say here, the engulfing pattern plus are very prevalent. So you see them a lot. The one thing I want to stress is only use them on the time frame you're looking at. So in other words, if you see a bullish engulfing pattern plus one on the euro dollar on the daily chart, but on the same monthly chart of the euro dollar, you see a bearish engulfing pattern, take each chart for uh, you know what, what it stands for. In other words, if you're trading the daily chart, that's all you'll take the, the uh, you'll, all you'll use the tool for. Don't, don't you know, try it and take a higher time frame and then judge the lower time frame by that. This is just a tool used in that specific time frame, which you're using. So you can see a very nice rally in the euro dollar with a bullish engulfing pattern plus one. And on the weekly or monthly chart, have a really negative uh, bearish engulfing pattern plus 15. And they'll both be right eventually. So uh, they're not meant to be used in concert with each other. Just take each chart for what it is, okay? Now you can apply this any time frame and in any direction, but remember, just focus on the chart at hand. All right, so let's review here. Remember, this is a great tool, but in order to use this tool, you have to remember it is not a strategy. It is just a tool. Once you have a great uh, you know, uh, uh, idea and, and learn the process behind this tool and how it works, then you'll apply a strategy to it, either to go long or short. But please remember, in order to, to you know, have this consistency with our method, you have to learn these strategies. It's not just enough to watch the videos a couple of times and think, okay, I've got it under my belt, I know how to do it now. You have to really understand the strategies like the back of your hand. So the only way to do this is by paper trading. Once you pick a strategy, we have upwards of 10 strategies that you can trade the Forex markets. Once you pick one that you like, 
then paper trade it for a while. Paper trade it for a week, a month, it does not matter. Just as long as you really feel comfortable and totally understand the workings behind the strategy. Our edge here is consistency and you won't reach that level unless you really understand the strategy and how to implement it. Okay? So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at stephenprimo at specialisttrading.com. In closing, I ask that you take one last look at our disclaimer. I showed you how to find and how to use this particular tool, uh, but remember it is uh, in no way guaranteed that this will uh, be uh, guaranteed to work in the future, that any of the performance results I showed you will be repeated in the future. So please, uh, you know, remember that while you're uh, using this tool and understanding it. And please, if you have any questions concerning what I went over today or anything on the website, do not hesitate to email me at stephenprimo at specialisttrading.com. That's our weekly Forex lesson for the week. Once again, have a great weekend, and we shall see you here next week. Bye-bye.